Sean Brosden, Newberry Park head coach, is going to UCLA to be an assistant there for the distance program and coach cross country as well. Obviously, he was at the helm of the greatest boys cross country team in history, featuring um, some of the greatest runners in collegiate history, Coach Nico Young, Lex Young, Leo Young. Um, of course, this year, Colin Salmon, Aaron Salmon. The list goes on and on. They put up historically low scores in the biggest meets in the nation. And we see a high school coach, Gordon, making a jump to the college ranks. What do you think about this hire? This doesn't happen often, right? You normally don't go from right. high school to college. Like you normally go from grad assistant to assistant to another assistant to then to, you know, a head position. You don't go from head yeah. high school to head college. Because he's the head cross country coach, right? In this situation. I know his title says assistant coach, but he's in charge of the distance program. Is that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this is what I mean. This is that's how it's worded. Yeah, yeah. This is wild. I mean, and I'm kind of very interested to see how it plays out because I didn't know who Sean Brosnan was like five years ago, and then all of a sudden, Nico Young comes along, <laughs> and then all the other kids come along, and now it's he's like that program becomes the center of the universe for the past like three to four years. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what he does at, when it comes to training, you know, 18 to 22 year olds versus training 14 to 17 year olds. I feel like there's a big difference there and the competition's mm -hmm. different and like the expectations. And, but at the end of the day, he has been kind of training his 16 to 17 year olds like collegiate athletes in a weird way with their racing schedule and you know what their expectations were so mm -hmm. i'll be excited to see how it plays out can he make that jump because i think it is a very different jump it's gonna be very new i think a lot yeah. of times the reason why college coaches come within the college ranks is because they kind of want you know young aspiring coaches to already kind of understand this world because it's very different from the high school world. That's why they do the grad assistant for a few years and then assistant for a few years and then head coach. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited for that. But then I'm also like, what does this mean for the three stars that are still in high school this year? Lex, Leo, mm -hmm. and Aaron, right? They're all, yeah. they're going to have like a crazy senior years. Do any of those kids transfer, not transfer, or like go to UCLA now? Like, is this UCLA mm -hmm. being like, yo, we might get one of the Newberry Park kids if they have their <laughs> coach? Because I'm sure Sean's going to be like, hey, call up Lex, Leo, and Aaron. You want to come to UCLA? Like, that's going to be his first call as soon as he puts on the, the shirt. So I'll be excited to see how it plays out, the domino effect of what goes down. It seems as if you almost need a resume like this to make this sort of jump because it is so yeah. rare. I know it's it's happened before, but usually it's this was a star athlete themselves, then they become a grad assistant, you're right, then they work their their way up into the program. They ran at UCLA or they ran at Oregon, et cetera, et cetera. To be in high school for even that long and and to accumulate that sort of record though. I think makes him an appealing candidate, especially in Southern California. Because if you're thinking, hey, there's a ton of talent in Southern California, how do we get that talent to UCLA? Again, people know his name now, right? He's able to have conversations with athletes that, to our point earlier about Shalane Flanagan, it's for a different reason. But I think high school kids in Southern California, distance running, know him because of what he's done at Newberry Park. So I think it's an interesting decision. No idea how it will go. Cause you don't even like how many scholarships are they going to give to the distance program, right? How many kids is he going to be able to, you know, get to come over from Newberry Park, if any at all, you don't know 
those sorts of things yet. So, but I think it's it's in, an interesting way to fill a position with a very successful high school coach. Um, but there are obviously some question marks because, yeah, he trained them at a very high level, and yeah, they were running faster than a lot of college kids were running. But it is different. You're you're dealing with a different age group, and and different um, age groups have different needs. Um, kids in college are different than kids that are in high school. The you know the recruiting element outside of you know the immediate like this short term, right? In four or five years, right? Once he's not known anymore as the Newberry Park coach, the guy who was coaching at Newberry Park, but the guy who's the UCLA coach, you know, can he consistently um, recruit at a high level? But yeah, it was, I guess I wasn't surprised just because of how well he's done. You figured there really wasn't anything left for him to accomplish. It's just weird to see someone go from high school to college on the coaching side of things. Yeah. It would be different if he went from high school to like, assistant coach in college right just like all right i want to i want to because that's normal but like go right from high school to head cross-country coach it's kind of wild i know his name's not head coach cross-country coach but you know i don't think avery anderson is writing training logs for the distance runners mm -hmm. yeah i just again it, it's happened in the past like high school to high school to college, but it's, it's rare. It's, rare. It's, it's definitely rare. And it seems, it seems as if it's getting more rare as time goes on for whatever reason. It just, it seems like people want to go with the person who, you know, has been that grad assistant, who is an alum, who's been in the program, right. Who has that leg up and maybe, maybe they've coached in high school, but that's just, they're also like an alum and they spent like a year coaching in high school and then there are a couple of years of coaching in high school, but really mm -hmm. their, their identity is, you know, as an alum or as somebody who's helped out with the program before, not somebody who's, you know, put in several years building a high school program. It's just so different. Cause it's like, you think of high school coaches as the ones it's like, they're trying to figure out when the bus gets picked up. There are a lot of them are teach. Most of them are teaching, you know, five or six periods a day, you know, they're worried about their economics class. They're worried about their algebra one class. Uh, they're not necessarily worried about NXN and running lane and all this other stuff. Um, they're trying to figure out the lunch schedule and is, is Leo's, does he has, a, he has an excused absence, right? From government because that day he had a meet. You go from that to like trying to figure out how to win conference titles. Also, UCLA's moved to the big 10. Oh yeah. So, about that. So the recruiting element, I think, will change a bit, too, <laughs> because they're going to the Big Ten. We haven't really discussed the impact that'll have on collegiate track and cross country, but it's certainly, I mean, from a competition standpoint, they don't really run that much, so it doesn't have a huge impact. But then, theoretically, you're competing in, in recruiting against Big Ten teams, too. gonna be weird like that whole big 10 thing and conference realignment when california schools being in midwest conferences it's kind of wild but hey yeah. money talks <laughs>